What's up, guys? Mega Prism. We got a three caser here. Five and a two, seven times. Good luck, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Raptors up to the Spurs. Raptors up to the Spurs on seven. And we got Gaza down to Mr. Ender. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Yeah, four cases. Sorry. Ender up to Haas. There it is, guys. Alright, the Pacers gets a free wheel. Alright, I got you, Carlitos. We got nine left. Let's make sure it's going to fill, fellas. We only got three down right now. Ververs with the wheel. Alright, there it is, boys. Alright, here we go, guys. Good luck, fellas. I'm going to start ripping these cases open. I can't if it doesn't go um, I can if it doesn't fill I can get you those teams but if while the fillers going I can't do it buddy all right, in low. I'll check for you right now. You're definitely not on the list that was given to me. Let me make sure you sent, and I'll add it to your plats, buddy. All right. I got you with that 450. All right, your plats are on your account, buddy. Start ripping these cases open. That's good to hear, I rock. Glad you had a good time, man. If you had one thing, you get to bring one item with you onto an abandoned island to live with. You got one item. What's it going to be, bro? What's it going to be? One item. Alright, so we got Carlitos, Falcon. There we go. Eight left. A boat? You can't bring a boat. I guess you could, but 
You wouldn't have a paddle. You wouldn't have an engine. You would just have a boat. You'd have to make a paddle. A hot chick. Morant, are you serious right now? You can't be serious. He says, Is he a basketball player? I'll buy Grizz. Yeah, I got you in love. Yeah, Atlanta's one of the best for sure. Alright, there you go, buddy. It's refunded. Cool, cool. If it fills up, Carlitos, it's got to fill up, buddy. We got eight left. You got time for a few minutes. I gotta. I'm gonna. I'm gonna at least open up one more case. So. 
you got to then at least. Legit four cases. No three boxer, four cases. What is the fourth case? Hobby. Prism Hobby is the fourth case. Here's the optic right here. I got it open. These right here are optics. All right, and we got 18, 19. Luca Gray Day, baby. You got a case of. 1920 optic retails 1819 and 1516 and then the 1920 prism hobby jumbo case Boston sucks. What's wrong with Boston? Oh. 13. Bikini bottom, I'm a savage. He should eat the molly like it's candy. Were any of the cases first off the line? No, sir. Just the main case is the 1920 Hobby Jumbo case. That's a monster case right there. Alright, Carb, are you making any moves on the trade front, buddy?
guys, vanilla cherry coke is a L. Don't buy it. You've been warned. It's low key trash, but I bought it, so I'm going to drink it. Regular vanilla coke is fire, bro, but vanilla cherry coke is a walking L. Like, that is terrible. No offense, Coke. I love you, Coke, but that's got to change, man. That vanilla cherry Coke don't taste nothing like it should. I can make vanilla cherry Coke fire and bring it back on the map. All right, guys, here we go. Good luck, guys. Everything does ship. DeAndre Jordan for the Mavs. I like... Oh, yeah. Vanilla Coke is fire, bro. Like, legit flames. I love Vanilla Coke. Chandler Hutchinson. When they add that cherry in there, I don't know what it is, bro. It just tastes weird. Like, Vanilla Coke... Oh my goodness, like, uh, that's the main reason I bought it, because I love Vanilla Coke, so I was like, shit. Vanilla Cherry Coke? I like vanilla, and I like cherry. It can't be bad. It's a L. I ain't gonna lie. If you ain't tried Vanilla Coke, you definitely gotta go pick that up, but just get the regular vanilla. Don't get the Vanilla Cherry, man. 25 Yao Ming for the Rockets. I'm so serious. You're going to regret, you're going to get it and instantly regret that decision if you give another cherry coke. Amari Stoudemire for the Knicks. And the only time you get Sprite is at McDonald's from the fountain, bro. You get those large drinks for a dollar. And they got the best Sprite syrup, bro, I swear. McDonald's Sprite is the best. You ain't going to get no better Sprite than McDonald's, I promise you. If you don't believe me, go get McDonald's Sprite and compare it to every other Sprite on the planet. Trust me, bro. No one eats more fast food and drinks more soda than me. I know the, I know the places. I know where to get the goods. Hobby. Oh wait, the 1819 is retail, but the 1920 is hobby. RJ Barrett, hollow for the Knicks. Oh, Chick-fil-A, everything at Chick-fil-A is good, Grant. There ain't a bad thing on the menu at Chick-fil-A. Aaron Holiday for the Pacers. I freaking love Chick-fil-A. And I like, I've been digging Jersey Mike's a lot lately, bro. I've been eating there all the time. It's low key expensive for a sub, though. Like, definitely ain't about to eat that every day, but I'll treat myself one or two days a week. You know what I'm saying? DeMar DeRozan for the Spurs. To be honest, McDonald's probably has the best honey mustard, too. Like, Chick-fil-A has decent honey mustard. It could just be sour as shit sometimes, though, that honey mustard. Like, gummy sour for no reason. Kenny Anderson for the Nets. Oh, yeah, bro. I get, I get two Giants at a time. I get two Giants. And it's damn near 40 bucks for two giants. And that's only two meals, bro. Like, I'll eat one giant, and then I'll eat another giant, and then I still got to get another meal. Devontae Graham for the Hornets. Giants are light work, bro. I can eat a giant with a with a with probably two or three bags of chips and a large drink, to be honest. Oh, dude, I can't go to Sonic. When I was at college, bro, the Sonic at our school, like, made me not want to ever go to a Sonic again. 
Kostas for the Mavs. It was horrible, bro. I ordered mozzarella sticks, and they put it in a fryer, but the cheese was still frozen on the inside when they pulled it out the fryer, bro. I swear. It's like they put it in a fryer for like two seconds and pulled it out. And I ate freaking frozen mozzarella sticks because I had the munchies, bro. It was horrible. I was so sick, man. I got like a hot dog and some mozzarella sticks, and it was horrible. Like, horrible. I ate, cook I ate cookout every time after. Why are all the windows tinted in your Tahoe? Hold up, wait a minute. Oh, I love Chipotle, bro. If we had one closer to me, I would eat it every day. Chipotle. Oh my goodness. I freaking love that. Chipotle cheesesteak. No, I usually get a chicken burrito with extra corn, sour cream, cheese, medium salsa with a bag of chips, and a water, bro. Got to get water. Because low-key, that that's freaking chicken be spicy sometimes. You got to cool it down, you know what I'm saying? Oh, Chipotle cheesesteak. In Jersey Mike's? No, I haven't. I need to try it. I get the number nine with light lettuce, pickles, mayo, bacon, vinegar. That's it. Carl Malone for the Jazz. I was like, dang, when Chipotle have a cheesesteak? I was low-key bummed out because I ain't never had it. I was like, dang, man, I love Chipotle. I ain't never had no cheesesteak from there. Oh, no, nah, I can't get it Mike's way, bro. They be tweaking with the tomatoes and the onions. Uh-uh. No tomatoes, no onions. Thank you, though. Add pickles and vinegar. LeBron James. I just get white bread. When I go to Subway, I get Italian herbs and cheese because that's fire. Bro, Italian herbs and cheese. If I could get a Jersey Mike sub on Italian herbs and cheese bread, oh my God. Y'all making me hungry, man. <laughs> I literally, like, an hour and a half ago, I freaking ate, like, three chicken sandwiches from Chick-fil-A and some fries. That was low-key some light work. Because y'all making me hungry again right now. I swear it's fire. Oh, Subway is so much cheaper, bro. Like, honestly, bro, you could get $5 footlongs at Subway. You could get you could get a foot long sub, a drink, and two cookies for like seven something. I used to hit that deal up at school all the time, bro. It's fire. But it's just like now, like I ate so much cookout, bro. Like I ate cookout pretty much every day of my life for a year and a half straight. Straight cookout, bro. Big double burger tray with a corn dog and some chicken nuggets, honey mustard, or the Oreo mint milkshake every day. I'm just like, I don't know why, but I like, I have the same order I get for every restaurant. Like, I hardly ever switch it up. Honestly. We don't have any firehouses here. The Subway and the Jersey Mike's put those out of business. We used to have them when I was younger, but Jersey Mike's and Subway put those out of business. Cookout is a fast food place. They usually have two drive-thrus, so it's like hella quick, and their sweet tea is the best, bro. 
If you go to a cookout and don't get sweet tea, like, I don't know what's wrong with you. You got to get the huge tea. What about canes? I've never had canes. Oh, you don't, oh, you're in SoCal. They probably, it's probably East Coast thing cookout. Hakeem Olajuwon for the Rockets. Yeah, cookouts are big here. Oh, dude, they got so many different flavors, man. They literally got like an 80-flavor menu of milkshakes. Like, how can you go wrong there? And the watermelon one in the springtime? Oh, my God. That watermelon milkshake. So fire. And it's got actual chunks of watermelon in it. Oh, my goodness. Kyrie Thomas, silver rookie for the Pistons. Dame Lillard for the Blazers. Dollar Dame. Oh, yeah, for sure. Cookout is fire. And it's so cheap, bro. Like, cookout here, you can eat a full-ass meal and be stuffed for, like, six or seven bucks. I swear. Honestly, bro, like, the best business investment is to put a cookout near a college campus and you'll make bread. I swear to God. Everybody with the munchies or everybody after a party, that's the only place to go is cookout, I promise you. And you're going to make bread because all them broke college kids is going to come in there and spend 6 or $7 on a meal every time. Whataburger? What is that? I know what In-N-Out is, but I've never had it. Never had in and out Burger. Definitely going to try it if I ever make it to the West Coast. For sure. Robert Williams Silver for the Celtics. I swear, bro. I swear them cookouts be, be the best. Nah, but for real, my plan one day is to open up the most bougie donut shop in the world, bro. I'm talking about like 24 karat gold covered donuts that are like two grand per donut. That's what I want to make. Just imagine an edible gold donut for like two grand. Who would buy it? Would somebody buy it if I opened up the shop and started selling them? You would have to try it at least once. Oh, yeah, Grant. Go to cookout, bro, and let me know. You got the best deal on a menu is a tray. It, you got to get a tray, and it comes with like everything. And a milkshake upcharge is less than a dollar. I promise you. I swear, if you put a cookout right by a college, you will be, you'll be wiping your ass with $100 bills. I promise you. There's not one time during the day when they open or when they close that they, that they ain't slammed a cookout near a college campus. LeBron James. Chandler Hutchinson and a Trey Young. Western Carolina University. The only thing they have around there is a cookout 
a GameStop, a Walmart, a Kobe Chinese place, and that's pretty much it. Kevin Herter for the Hawks. And a bunch of vape stores. And then, like, they got, they got a bunch of, like, they got a gas station that we used to call the Brew Through. It's like a gas station that you drive through, and they freaking, they got loads of beer and never card. It's hilarious. That's pretty much it, man. At Western. Section A. Nobody else on the Bowman fellas? I'll leave it open for a little bit. This talk got me hungry. I stay talking about food, bro. There, there really ain't a time in the day that I ain't hungry. Like, I can eat whenever. Andre Hunter Purple for the Hawks. Long way from section A. Oh yeah, Krispy Kreme is fire, bro. I got one right near the house. I, I probably go there way more than I should. It's literally like five minutes from my house. Krispy Kreme is not whack. I'm about to be fuming. Who said Krispy Kreme is whack? You know how many freaking donuts I've eaten from there? Out of 10 gold harden. Voodoo donuts? Never had it. But I, I hear, I've heard a couple of different people say something about, about voodoo. I'll try a donut from anywhere, bro. I don't care where it's from. As long as it tastes good. They got a Duck Donuts downtown. I've been there once. It was fire, Duck Donuts, bro. Duck Donuts was definitely fire. Keldon Johnson, hollow. That's all you need. That's all you need is that original. Right off the press, hot. That's all you need with a glass of milk. I promise you. John ja Morant Hollow for the Grizzlies. Ja Morant for the Grizzlies. Excuse me. Oh my goodness. These donuts are going to make me get donuts. Oh, they started delivering. I forgot Krispy Kreme started delivering. I ain't even got to leave now to get donuts. Heck yeah. Mm. 
No drive through. They gonna bring it to me. There's probably a delivery fee though. How much y'all think the delivery fee is? 10, 15, 20 bucks? I'm gonna say somewhere between 10 and 20 bucks. Delivery fee for Krispy Kreme. Wow, Greek Freak OG Orange. Nice one. Enlo, you want three Bowman spots? Andrew Harrison Orange for the Grizz. All right, we got five left. Come on, boys. Let's fill up that Bowman. Six. Oh, wait. Seven. We got five left. Let's fill it up. Let's go, boys. It's going after the prism, guys. Ryan Anderson for the Rockets. Yeah, that Bowman's the last filler of the night, so... If you guys want in, let's do it. Sam Decker for the Rockets, Silver Rookie. Luka Doncic and a Allen Iverson for the Sixers. Come on, boys. Couple more fulls. Apple fritters are the best. I don't know about all of that now. Boom. Boom. All right, let me open up this case real quick just so I have all the packs out. Guys, I'm telling you right now, once I finish this prism, if that Bowman ain't full, I'm just putting it back in the store. So let's fill it up.
The only way is through the filler, buddy, unless they go back in the store, pal. All right, here we go, boys. Justin Jackson Green for the Magic. Troy Brown Jr. for the Wizards. Trey Young Green for the Hawks. Tristan Thompson for the Cavs. You got what I need. One hobby pack for the win. Wow, we got a Ja Morant out of 149. Purple Ice for the Grizzlies out of the first hobby pack I opened. And I opened that for the one time. Uh, it was four fifty on the buying for this. Frank Kaminsky Green for the Hornets. Mr. Clean. Noah Vonley for the Blazers autograph. Kevin Herter Silver for the Hawks. Mr. K. 
Clean. Aaron Harrison Orange for the Hornets. Face baby Zion Ja Morant for the Grizzlies. Cabbage lay purple for the Clippers. Yeah, that's a nice hit there, man. Blake, for sure. That's a big boy. Six hundo, more than six hundo. If it grades, it's definitely worth more than six for sure. All right, I'm gonna rip a couple hobbies here because my stacks are huge and I'm afraid they're gonna fall over. Keep you. Blue for the Spurs and a Ruby Wave Keldon Johnson. Are you serious, John? Ursan Ilyasova for the Bucks. Oh my goodness. Thanks, Brandon. Appreciate it, man. Four perfectly centered Jummerin Silver. So she threw like five grand in the trash. <laughs> Just imagine. John Morant, just imagine lighting five stacks on fire. That is what you just did. Oh my goodness. I, I'm i laughing with you, not at you, buddy. <laughs> Kevin Jelay for the Clippers. Miami Heat, Tyler Hero. How did she manage to do that? I, ha I have to know. Like... Were they near the trash, or did she just assume they were trash? We got a red Nikhil Alexander Walker for the Pellies. Right, this is going to be the last jumbo I break until the end. <clears throat> right here. Nasir Little Red for the Blazers. She claims she didn't, but I never forget where I put anything. But she cleaned up and they were gone. Kobe White Ruby Wave for the Bulls. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I would I would be pissed, but what can you do? If you love her, you can't be that mad. Blue Terrence man. What if you did just misplace him? Who knows? We fight about it every night. 
I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, I'll leave, like, a jacket, bro. L listen to this right here. I'll leave a jacket on a chair downstairs in a place that I know I will not forget it. And my mom moves it every time, and then I can't find it. Cards, bro. I'll put... I'll put cards on a specific stack. Like, you know, I have all my cards organized in piles of what I want to do with each of them. Like, am I putting these cards in my safe? Am I putting these cards in a box? Am I putting these cards in a graded stack? Am I sending them to BGS or PSA? Like, I may not seem like the most organized person, but when it comes to my cards, I know where everything is at. And everything I have is in order by player. So I know for a fact I'm not losing cards. And I'll have my stacks clearly, like on a table. Like if I need to send a BGS order out, I'll I'll put I'll have a BGS stack and a PSA stack. With the papers underneath them. And my mom will combine the stacks and move the two papers. And I'm just like, Jesus Christ, woman, why are you moving my stuff? And she goes, Well, if you would have put them where they go in the first place, I wouldn't have had to move them. That's her answer every time. And I can never find what I'm looking for until like two weeks later. That's what I'm saying, Jeff Teague. Like, it may look messy, but I know exactly where everything is at. And if no one touches it, I'm going to know exactly where it's at every time. I promise you. I'm not... I'm not about to, like, forget where I have five grand of cards. Like, I'm not just going to forget that. I forget a lot of things, but when it comes to cardboard, bro, I ain't forgetting where my cards are, I promise you. The net auto was Otis Birdsong. Grant Williams for the Celtics purple rookie. Okay, bye. Tucker for the Lakers. I know, bro. I'll move out eventually. But, you know, living at home, I save a lot of money, man. A lot. That's just extra, you know, 750 to a grand that I don't have to spend on rent per month. Honestly, like, what I'm really trying to do is I'm trying to save enough money to where when I'm like 21 or 22, 23, when I want to move out of my house or my parents' house, I could just put a big down payment on a house. I don't want to have to rent, you know what I'm saying? I would rather pay a $1,000 mortgage and, you know, eventually own the house than just pay 800 without a down payment and rent and just lose it you know what I'm saying like I would rather I would rather have something to show for we got a blue Carl Malone for the Jazz We got a purple Stephen Curry for the Warriors. Is not having to take care of anything. Yeah, that's true.
looks like a gold out of 149 Magic Johnson. And my job can take me anywhere. I feel you. You know, if you could potentially move, it would definitely not be worth it to buy a house. Ojale be just easier to rent. I was looking at apartments near school before I decided to move back home and work full time. And you know, the nicest apartment at the freaking at Western Carolina was like you know, 780, 790 a month, which doesn't seem like that ain't that bad, but I don't know. I just didn't, I didn't like, you know, school was cool. I, I enjoyed like some of the people I met are still my friends, but it's just like, oh man, like there ain't, there ain't a whole lot out there, bro. So I wasn't, I wasn't trying to stay out there and have have to pay you know eight hundred dollars a month to live there on time yeah and then have to commute three hours to work one day to work the weekends and drive back screw that be it was way easier for me to just move back home Like college was cool for sure it was it was fun for sure but just having to wake up at 8 a.m. for freaking classes on Tuesdays and Thursdays and you have to show up to class every day or you fall behind like online schooling is so much easier like you have no idea We got a blue Drew Holiday for the Pelicans. Bro, listen. If I, like... Morris, I, you gotta go to class, bro. Like, if I miss class... You know, like, honestly, I wasn't, I wasn't the best student and I didn't do all of my work, but bro, not going to class, just freaking, that's how you fall behind, man. Like quick, son. You miss one class, freaking lecture. You miss a lecture class, they two chapters ahead of you when you get back. Zion. Kobe Bryant Silver. I just went to test. See, I wish I could just show up to test and pass them. If I just showed up to test, I would flunk them. All of them. Read the book the night before. I wish, man. If I wait till the day before to study, I'm failing it. For sure.
Rondé Hollis Jefferson for the Raptors. Autograph. Checkerboard Schroeder for the Thunder. We got a blue Kobe Bryant blue for the Lakers. I'm good, JT Ken. Thanks for asking, man. I'm ready to get the, to the rest of this jumbo case, not going to lie. Zion Williamson. I'm so eager to open this jumbo case. I've opened a few packs, but not a lot of them. Morant, I'm saving most of the case till the end. message. Hillard for the Pistons, Orange Wave. Mike Muscala for the Hawks, Auto.
Yeah, anyone else down for the Bowman boys? If not, it's all good. Don't matter, man. They gonna tax you for anything nowadays, bro. It's ridiculous. I already filed my taxes, but it's crazy, man. Freaking taxes, bro. Uncle Sam be taxing me like a MF, -er, bro. I don't know. I was kind of bummed out because I bought my car and I figured my car would help me on my taxes a little bit, bro, but it literally did nothing. Trey Lyles. My mom told me the only thing you could do to help your taxes is get married, have kids, or buy a house. And buying a house doesn't even really help that much. Przingis, and I ain't getting married or having kids right now, so. That, yeah. I guess I'm just SOL, bro. I gotta pay what I gotta pay. And that's it. Move on. I actually got a refund this year, bro. I was shocked, actually. Like, I didn't think I was going to get anything back, but... I, mean, I get I get the max taxes you could take out for every paycheck. I get that done. So I don't have to pay at the end of the year. But sometimes, even, even if you get the max out, you still got to pay. Sometimes. It's unfortunate. Silver rookie Brandon Clark for the Grizzlies. And a Shayok auto for the Sixers. We got a purple Donovan Mitchell for the Jazz. Antonio Walker for the Celtics. We got a red Daniel Gafford for the Bulls. Jay Tucker for the Rockets and a Kyle Guy Ruby Wave for the Kings. Wow, nice. DeAndre Hunter. Purple Ice for the Hawks and a Ruby Wave. Nice, Obi.
I got some sick ass Kobe Whites, bro. I made I made bank on that man. If I could get some of these freaking cards back from PSA, bro. PSA is going to be a joke. I've had cards at PSA on a 30-day service for almost three months now. Ridiculous. I literally have 30 Kobe Whites at PSA right now, if not more. Kobe Bryant Silver and a RJ Barrett Auto for the Knicks. It's getting ridiculous, bro, because I can fourfold on everything of Kobe White I have right now. The issue is pretty much everything I have right now is at freaking PSA. So, like, even if I wanted to move a few of them, I freaking can't. I just don't like putting all my birds in one basket. Like, I would rather fourfold and invest in something else and keep it, you know. I, I like playing with no, like, I don't, I don't want to lose money. So what I do is I try to buy, you know, people I think are going to blow up. And then when it comes time, I'll sell around half of it make my money and then I'm free rolling on the rest of it to sit as a long-term investment. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, if, oh, wow, RJ Barrett Blue Ice out of 99. That's sick for the Knicks. I like rolling. See, because then if a player gets hurt and it, he goes down to crapper, I'm not completely SOL. I sold some of them when he was hot. You know what I'm saying? Like, look at Bellinger, bro. I know Bellinger blew up, but Bellinger still haven't re hasn't recovered from his sophomore slump, bro. Card wise, I mean, he was he was selling for straight cheddar, bro. Like, him and Judge were selling for insane amounts of money that the card industry had never seen before until they came. And then he tanked his sophomore year. Like, his cards literally were. A quarter of the value they were the year before and now they're starting to go up again so if you sold Bellinger during, during his rookie season you still made out I don't care what anybody says and you sold it two years ago we got a blue Alex Lynn for the Hawks tons of Seiku I don't have any Seikus Detroit is a bad team, bro. Bad team. Even if he blows up, who the hell wants a Detroit Pistons card? You know what I'm saying? I guess you could say the same thing with the Hawks and John Collins, but I knew Collins was going to be a stud, and he's dirt cheap still. I can, like, five-fold on John Collins. That's how cheap I got in him. I mean, I got dirt in that man. Literally, not like, pennies. Compared to what he sells for now. Zion. I mean, I was picking silvers up at John Collins for like five bucks. Now they're PSA 10s are 150, I think. But with the grading fees and the shipping costs. I'm probably I'm probably up. I'm up for sure, but I don't want to move them yet because I think he'll go up in price. Same thing with Trey Young, man. It makes no sense to me how Trey Young is still that cheap. He's starting to go up a little bit, but I mean, he's playing insane, Trey Young.
Wow, Rizzo is hilarious for that. It's like 70. Fire. See, bro, here's what I did. You know, people don't realize it, but buying raw and grading, well, Walter Tavares, buying raw and grading, there's, it takes a lot of time and it's a lot of work. I'm not going to lie, but to me, it's the best way to do it because when I buy raw, I, I literally paid like 20 bucks a pop for Kobe White silvers. $20 a piece, I pay $11 grading fee per card. So let's say I got $31 with shipping a hand, we'll say 35 with the grading and the card, 35 bucks. If that comes back a nine, right? A nine. Now what they're selling for, I still will over double if it comes back a nine. If it comes back a 10, I eightfold. You see what I'm saying? It may not make sense to a lot of people, but bro, people hate grading. It takes a lot of times. You know, sometimes you get shafted with bad grades, but I make it to where even if I get nines, I'm still doubling, so I can't be salty, you know? And if they come back a 10, I'm making bread. See, but you got to take, see, I, I make sure and I look, I look over my cards hard and I clean them and then I pay somebody to clean them. So I, you know, if, if they're not a 10, I don't want them. So I sell them if they ain't a 10 straight up. I don't, I'm not going to keep a card that's not a PSA 10. I'd rather move it and invest in a PSA 10. x so at 30 bucks or 30 let's say I got 35 into them every PSA 10 Kobe white silver that I have that's coming back from PSA is worth over 200 and I got 35 bucks into that mother trucker $35 into a $200 card over 200 now I mean, it ain't, it's not easy. It takes some time and you got to have a good eye looking at cards or if you start getting a bunch of nines, it ain't going to be worth your time. But them tens, boy, when them tens start, start coming in, I'll send like 20 to 40 cards at a time. And usually I don't have any more than five or five nines. The rest are tens usually. My last order, I had one nine and like 20 tens. My last PSA order I got. I just wish that, you know, their turnaround rates were right. You know what I'm saying? Walter Tavares, like if I had those Kobe White cards right now, I would sell some of them, but I would definitely throw some in the safe just to keep. You just got to catch players at the right time. That's the key. Like, my main suggestion is to buy an off-season, man. That's the best time to buy. If you're looking to strictly buy, I wouldn't sell anything in the off-season. I'm talking about just buying. And it, you, you're not going to get quick flips buying an off-season, but it's easy money. It's easy money, bro. People don't understand how easy it is. Some people are so stupid. Now, we got some more left, Jimmy. Got like five left. It's just like Akuna updates. We're 65. Larry Nance Jr. Green. 65 to 70 bucks a pop. And I bought like 40 of them. I got less than 70 in all of them. And now they're 170 a piece. It's just. 
119 for fulls. We got five fulls left. Jokic. You know, but this newer stuff, you know, this new 1920 prism, you can't, it ha there hasn't been an off season yet. So that's the tough part. You gotta, you gotta buy on who you think's a good buy and hope they play good while you got them. Moran, if they start playing bad, the market will keep going down. If they start playing good, it'll go right back up. RJ Barrett purple for the Knicks. Oh, dude, I would, bro, if any car, I, I promise you, I don't care what anybody says, any card you have, obviously not garbage base rookies for some play, like not $2 cards, obviously, but if you got a card worth $50 or more, and that card, it doesn't even have to be 50 bro, like, 25 and that card is a bgs 95 or better or a psa 10 great it bro i promise you you ain't gonna regret it because no matter what you'll make money no matter what if you got a card worth oh nice purple shy if you got a card worth 25 dollars and you send it it comes back a psa 10 you look at it 60 and you got 35 into it. Say he breaks a leg and never plays another game of basketball. You'll still be able to get at least 20. So you're taking a $10 L and this guy ain't never playing again. So honestly, like I if a card's if I think a card's a 9-5 or a 10, I'm gonna grade it. Just because it's it's easy money, especially if you don't need money immediately. Jerome Robinson. Because it takes time to grade. If you're looking to buy and flip quick and sell your cards, you need, like, if you need money or something, grading is definitely not the way to go because you could be waiting. If, like PSA now, if you are wanting a grade back, geez. You could send a 10 day service and it'll be a month before you get your cards back. So that's that is a huge downside to grading right there. You, it's definitely not not fast money. Rui's gonna be sick. I don't know much about Rui, but. I imagine if he, if him, Bradley Beal, and John Wall get it, get it clicking, man. When John Wall comes back, Kevin Hervey, he should be back next season. The Wizards will have another high pick too, so they'll have Rory, a top five pick, John Wall, and Bradley Beal. They might be nasty if they don't trade anyone, especially in the East. They could make some noise potentially. John Wall is a superstar caliber player, man. I like cards because I don't like playing the lottery, man. I would rather gamble on cardboard using my information and what I, what I see to invest in a player that I think I'm personally going to be good than gambling in the way on a lottery ticket or, you know, I would rather invest $500 in Kobe White cards.
That's just me because I feel like I'm going to, my information I use and the way I look at players to determine who I'm going to buy, I feel like is better. I have better odds of picking a successful basketball player than me hitting freaking a black and making 400 bucks or whatever. That's just me. Oh no, bro. They're like 170. They're over 170 now. Fire. The last the last 4 days they've been skyrocketing for no reason. Literally, I promise they've been running on Facebook for 170 bucks and they instant fill every time. At $170 friends family. Instant. It's like 3 minute fill. I swear to you. Here's my thing, bro. You don't see millionaires and billionaires buying lottery tickets, bro. You don't see it. You know why? It's hard to hit. Cardboard, I feel like is a is just a beast investment, man. I feel like there ain't nothing better than this. Johnson Ruby Wave. Zion on the back. We got a red Ben Simmons for the Sixers and a Zion buy them for less than you sell them for. That's good advice. Silver rookie Dinlin Wendler and a Miles Turner for the Pacers. Is everyone who dropped in the Bowman still here? Because if people who dropped aren't here and they didn't pay, I don't want to get in a situation where we're sitting here waiting on somebody to pay, bro. Like, because we've already got five spots left. You know, if some people... Like, if you're here, you don't have to send yet if you're still here. Like, I wouldn't send yet. I would make sure it's going to go. But I just don't want to be put in a situation where someone left in the middle of this prison break. And instead of five spots, we really have like eight left. That would really suck, bro. Because it's literally taken us like three hours to get seven spots. Which is cool. All right, John, I'll give it to the end of this break at least. Yeah, Cam Reddish, he's definitely got potential. I actually think he's a good buy right now. Harry Giles, red. I wouldn't put a ton of money into Cam Reddish, but he's definitely a decent buy. 119, we got five left, Jimmy. Silver rookie cabbage lay for the Clippers. And a Naz Reed for the T Wolves. Rookie auto. You ready for the next big one, bro? This guy's about to blow up at this year or next year. I don't have a ton of them yet. I don't know why I'm telling you because as soon as I say this, I feel like the market price is going to go up on his cards, but screw it. As much as this hurts me to say, it is a Duke player. But uh, 
He's a sinner. I know G says not to buy sinners, but I don't discriminate. I can make money on whoever. Whether you a point guard, shooting guard, small for a center, I don't care. If you're going to make me money, I'm going to buy you. It doesn't matter to me. But, uh, Harry Giles, Sacramento. He's a good buyer right now. Novell. This is his first full season in the NBA healthy, and he's already getting starter minutes and has, oh, uh, like, he's got, like, five 20-point games or more. I mean, this man was the number one player in the nation going to college, but had two, two horrific knee injuries, but I think he'll come back. I watched him play in high school, bro. Dude is dude was insane in high school and with NBA coaching. I mean, people got to understand this man was so much better than everybody else when he was healthy. There there wasn't a player in the country that, that could stop Harry Giles when he was healthy. It wasn't possible. Tobias Harris when he was at freaking uh Oh, man. Wesleyan and High Point with Theo Pinson, bro. That team was filthy. I freaking love Theo Pinson, man. He's like my favorite college player of all time, I swear. When he put, when he committed to Carolina, I was so happy. And then he got hurt his first two seasons, Theo Pinson. But his junior and senior year, he came back strong. But him and Harry Giles, bro, they tore it up in, co or in high school. It's just like Kobe White, bro. I was all over Kobe White since high school, man. Like, people don't realize I literally spend a, I spend a lot of time watching high school basketball games just to scout and look up on these players. All right, Jimmy, sounds good. Like a buck fifty to a buck seventy. I picked up Bam Adebayo's silver nine fives at the National for forty dollars, less than forty dollars a piece, and people looked at me like I was stupid. And now they over a buck fifty. Cam Reddish, I would literally ask people for Bam Adebayo's, and you should have seen the look on their face. I swear. There you go. You want Bam Adebayo? Yeah, I want Bam Adebayo. Yeah. Question me now. Who made out on that? <laughs> I bought an orange PSA 10 rookie out of 49 for 80 bucks. <laughs> that thing's a grand now. Crazy. But Austin doesn't know what he's talking about. DeMarcus Cousins Blue. Austin's a dummy. People just don't see my PC because I never post it. Uh, PSA, no, that's a BGS 9.5 Min Gym is 150. A PSA 10 is right below 200, I think. Kenny Skywalker for the Knicks. I just think it's hilarious. People were shitting on me for buying Kobe White. Oh, you're just a Tar Heel fan, blah, blah, blah. Now they instant sell in every break. It's so funny, man. Now everybody wants them. People act like I didn't tell them for freaking six months almost. <laughs> Dennis Rodman. You can go watch the very first video of Hobby I ever broke, bro. And I bet you I say at least five times Kobe White is a walking bucket. At least five times. Day one. Thomas Bryant for the Wizards Red. No, nah, I got a couple players that I've been buying heavy, but I'm not I'm not gonna say it because then that just ruins the market for me. Can't do that, bro. I'll throw y'all treats every once in a while if you pick it up. Kyle guy, but I can't throw all of them out there, or else I wouldn't. I wouldn't have as many to buy. 
<laughs> I know, fire is crazy. Shy is going to be an all-star next year. He's a beast, Shy. He's a great buy right now, too, actually. D'Angelo Russell, I think SGA is one of the best buys in basketball. Dude's very, very good, and he's going to learn a lot from Chris Paul, too. You got to look at the vets and the coaching, too. That's a big piece, bro. If you don't look at the vets, who they're learning from in the coaching, look at the Knicks, bro. There's a reason I won't buy Knicks players, and it's because the coaching has never been there, No matter, and their teams are never going to win. But if their coaching isn't there, they're not going to be successful, I can promise you. If you see a team that changes coaches every year or every other year, it's going to be tough for a player to fully develop, you know, because they're going to have to learn a bunch of different schemes. Most people don't look at that and don't think about that, but that is a huge piece to investing in cards, man, looking at the coaches. Nasir Little Orange. Oh, yeah, I still buy last year. So the main thing I look for, Lyndon, is if I see a vet that's on the way out of an organization, I try to find before, before the main people, before most people figure it out, I try to find out who's going to take whose spot the next year. So, like... Honestly, free agency time in basketball is my absolute favorite because that's when I'll do most of my buying. When you see players on the move and you look, oh, nice, Dumboya Silver. You got to look at the young talent. And most of the time, the coaches will do the scouting for you in the sense that the coaches will put the players in the right positions to be successful if you got the right coaches. You don't want to buy a rookie that you're going to invest in that's going to start day one most of the time. To be completely honest with you, Nasir Little and a Brandon Clark. Because if they're starting as a rookie, they're going to come out pr fairly expensive already. So you want to look look for bench guys that are volume scorers. That sh they don't necessarily shoot a lot, but they score a lot of points on the shots they take. That is what you want to first look for. And if you see that they get in buckets and, oh, nice, Wendler Purple Ice. And you got to look at the coaching. If they, so like, with the Miami Heat, as soon as they dumped Whiteside, is the second that they traded Whiteside to Portland, I knew instantly that Bam Adebayo was going to be a stud. I knew instantly because there's no way they're going to give up a vet center making $20 million a year for Bam out of bio, unless he's good. They're not going to start him in a starting lineup for a contender in the East unless he's a solid player. You know what I'm saying? So, that, you know, most people don't look at that, but it makes it pretty easy. So, like, say the Magic were to get rid of Vucevic in the offseason. I honestly would instantly go buy every single Mo Bamba card on eBay. Every single one. Oh, Anthony Simons definitely has potential. He'll probably start next year, Dean. Anthony Simons. We'll have to see what Portland does in the offseason, but they're definitely going to make some moves. Biggest card out of the mixer so far is a Ja Morant Purple Ice. And we still got over half a case of hobby left here. Yeah, Bamba's, you can't go wrong with Bamba. Even if he doesn't pan out, he's a good buy because he's got potential. He's getting that three-point shot down. He's a big guy, blocks a lot of shots. He's just got to get some more playing time. Another guy that I like a lot, bro, that I think he's going to definitely start next season and get full minutes. Miles Bridges for the Hornets is a very good player, bro. Very good.
We got a red Tim Hardaway Jr. for the Mavs. I probably have 15 Miles Bridges Silvers that are all at PSA right now. Oh, yeah. You know, another misconception, Zaire Smith, players don't have to blow up and be great starters for you to make money. That does not have to happen for you to make out. As long as they're decent players, if you get them cheap enough, you'll still make money. DeAndre Jordan, like, you know, even if Mo Bamba averages 13 and 13 points, 14 rebounds a game. If you bought them cheap enough, you're going to make money on that. You know, because if you bought them while he was a bench player, he's not going to be near as expensive as he is when he starts. I can promise you that. Once you start getting minutes, you're instantly going to go up. Jeff T. When Dumboya went from off the bench to starting, his cards literally tripled for no reason. Like... He had like four good games. People went crazy over this man. And now he's like cooled off a ton. Mamba doesn't play a lot right now. He's behind Vucevic. We got a red of Craig. I freaking love basketball, man. I like, you know, I don't really do a lot of football anymore, to be honest. Because when I when I first started to get into this hobby, it was more of a for collection purposes. You know, I still collect Servitas. Like, I'll still collect my, like, Freddie Freemans. I'll get some high-end Freddies. And I got my Akuna stuff that, that some of it is off limits and... You know, my Carolina Tar Heel stuff, some of it's off limits, but for the most part, man, to be completely honest with you, the Redskins have been so bad for so long. When RG3 came out in 2012, I, bro, I bought so many RG3s, man. I had, in Triple Threads in 2012, his rookie, his rookie 101s, I had like three rookie 101s out of triple threads I mean I had some cards worth bread bro like I had like I mean at the time they were expensive man and at the time you know I didn't I didn't make what I make now when I was 14 15 I would save up for like two months three months to buy an RG3 card like and then yeah bro I don't even want to talk about it at, right after he got hurt the first time, I sold everything. So I didn't lose bad, but I definitely took an L. Always buy raw, Lyndon. Me personally. But, you know, you got, people got to understand, you know, some people on eBay, when they buy raw cards, they get upset because it's not a 9.5. Like, but sometimes there's a reason that cards are raw, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're not going to buy raw, you can't buy raw cards and expect all of them to 9.5 or 10. You're going to have ones that are going to 8 and 8.5. You just try to filter those out and not grade those at all. You just keep them and you can move them if you want to move them or, you know, just hold on to them until they play well enough to where you want to move them. But I really buy raw all the time. See, I would rather buy raw and grade myself than buy a PSA 10 just because I feel like I can get it that much cheaper. Like, if I pay half, half of what it's worth, that's a W. Bagley? Ah, oh, he played a Duke, man. 
Nah, he's definitely, he has to have some talent, man. You drafted before Luca and Trey. His offense, you know, he was a very good scorer in college, but it hasn't really translated to the NBA yet. But I'm sure he'll be fine. He's definitely got some talent. Oh, yeah, I feel that, man. Okafor Blue and a Cody Martin Ruby Wave. I hate waiting on them, but honestly, if you get in just a process of grading everything, as soon as you get it into like 10 to 20 card lots, if you just keep sending them, eventually you'll just have, eventually it'll get to the point where you're always getting orders back. So, you know, sometimes it's honestly pretty cool. Because, you know, sometimes your cards will go down the time it takes to get graded, but sometimes they go way up, and that just makes it way better. Like, for Kobe White, for me, like, like my, my insurance on my package is, like, way less than what it's actually worth now because of how, how much he's went up since I sent the cards in to get graded. So sometimes it pays off. To wait because they could go up even more yeah I submit a lot through Beckett too so when I buy prism I send everything prism basketball with no autograph I send directly to PSA any update rookies go straight to PSA for me Bowman color with no auto straight to PSA purple ice Diallo and a Kobe white hollow luck of the lottery silver Zion but like Bowman Chrome Autos, Beckett, anything with an autograph, I send to Beckett. Unless it's going to nine on the autograph. If it's going to nine on the autograph, I would send it to PSA. Because they don't grade the autos. So you'll be able to sell it for more. Like a PSA 10 will outsell a 959 all day long. All day long and twice on Sunday. No matter how bad the auto is. Wilson Chandler for the Nets. Uh, Triple J is a beast. Triple J is a straight scorer. He's a volume scorer. He just gets himself into some foul troubles and some real bad situations. Like one time he was 6 for 6 from the field. With like 15 points but had 4 freaking fouls by halftime. I'm like Jesus man come on. P.J. Washington Jr. What do you mean, how big? For who? Yeah, tri Memphis is going to be set for a while with Moran and Triple J. Triple J's just got to hit the weights and gain like 30 pounds. Because he cannot beat and bang with the power forwards in today's NBA. Like, there is no way that man has a chance at guarding Zion Williamson. I'm sorry. I'm just going to tell you how it is. That man's going to get beat up on defense if he's guarding Zion Williamson. And I can't, like, I, you know, I don't hate Zion, but I don't like him either. And he would straight bully him. Yeah, P.J. Washington's good. He can score. I think uh, Dumboya... Zion, Dumboya's got the, of anyone in this class, if I had to choose one underdog to potentially come the MVP of the league, it would be Dumboya. Just because of his build, I think is so much like Giannis, and he hasn't played basketball for a long time. So his, his talent is very raw, and he hasn't played a lot of professional basketball. He hasn't really played a lot of basketball, period, at a high level. So, 
I mean, with the right coaching, the man is a freak. I mean, ooh, nice little KD mojo for the Nets. Oh, yeah, Dumboya could blow up, bro. Like, I mean, he, his, he's so raw offensively. The Detroit Pistons. Zion and a silver rookie, Grant Williams. See, for me, bigs, bigs are the easiest position for me to pick on who's going to be good. The easiest ones. Honestly, you just look for the skinny guys. Ferguson, you just look for the skinny guys that need to hit the gym but can already score. So, like, John Collins came in the league for the Hawks. He was a late first-round pick. But I watched him a lot in college, and dude could straight score. He was a great dunker. He wasn't a great rebounder, but, you know, he, he for he's not a, you know, he was tall, but he was not, he was skinny, man. He wasn't huge. He wasn't ripped. And when you see that, you know in the NBA that they're going to get ripped, bro. Like, that's what they do. They hit the gym every day. LeBron Silvers, so I knew instantly once I saw him, once they get that body going and he gets a little bigger, he's going to be a dominant force. It's the same thing with Jackson Hayes now. It's literally, Jackson Hayes is so good on offense that once he gets a little bigger and hits the gym, it's over. It's like when Joel Embiid came into the league, he kept getting hurt, and he was small. Like, he wasn't, he was skinny. He didn't have a lot of muscle. But as soon as he put on some weight, bro, look at him. So, you know, the DeAndre Aytons that come in at 7 foot, 250 pounds already, those aren't the dudes you want to buy. Because, you know, at that point, you already see what you're getting because you're not, you know, he could develop a three-point shot, but he's already big enough to where he's used to being bigger than everybody else. You know what I'm saying? John Collins scored in a different way because he wasn't used to being bigger than everybody else. You know, he had to score different ways. So when you get big enough to score over anyone because you're big enough to score over them, and then you, you already had the skills of being able to score on someone... It's bigger than you already. It's easy money. Easy. Oh, Bobo is a good buy. But I wouldn't buy a lot of Bobo. I think he's just a dark horse. He could come out of nowhere. But that's... He's always going to be behind Jokic. So, I mean, I don't see any reason why they would get rid of Jokic. He's a freaking baller. J.J. Redick... And a Zion, Kevin, oh, dude, in low. That's my sleeper that I won't tell anyone, bro. I promise you. Oh, yeah, if they come in, yeah, for sure, Lyndon. That, that right there is a person I've been eating up recently in low. I've been buying so many of him, man. Culliver for the T-Wolves. Bro, I'm telling you, KPJ ain't even 20 yet. That mother sucker ain't even 20. He's not even 20. Yeah, he's going to be a beast. I'm sure of it. Jalen Hands for the Nets. And a Hernandez for the Raptors. Yeah, Optic Hollows are good. Optic Hollows and Prism Silvers. Usually a Optic Hollow will sell for like 10 to 15% less than a Prism Silver, but it's still good. I would definitely grade that. If you think he's gonna be good, you know. If you think he's the next big thing. Drew Holiday for the Pelicans, Blue Ice.
There he is, Baisley and a Morant. Nah, Jer there's a reason they traded Covington, bro. There's a reason they got rid of Covington, because they want Culliver to get more minutes. Watch out for Culliver. They would have never got rid of Covington if they didn't think that Culliver was good. Him or Josh Koji, either one. One of them has to be good. Because there's no way they was giving up Covington if one of those were not a decent player, you know? A Kogi is still a good buy. I got a lot of a Kogi's man. Like, freaking too many to count. Steven Adams. Not as many as my boy Philly Chris, but definitely a lot. You're from Kentucky, like Kedlin. Ignaz for the Knicks. I think Lonnie Walker is a great buy, too, for the Spurs. I really like Lonnie. Oh, yeah, Lenny. Lonnie's good. You ain't got to worry about Lonnie. He'll be fine. break this was guys Hunter Silver Kobe White Nasir Little Carson Edwards Blue They got Popovich, bro. That's all they need, Popovich. <laughs> RJ Barrett, blue ice for the Knicks. DeAndre Hunter, red or purple ice. Morant, Purple Ice, Trey Young, Green, Luca.
Kobe Bryant blue. LeBron James silver. There's five left, but I'm about to kill it, Zach Duke, because it's been lined for the last two hours. We've had five left for over an hour. So I don't guess it's going to go Zion, Luck of the Lottery, Silver. Four left. Anyone else, guys? I don't want to have to kill it when we're this close, man. Bowman draft on the right. 119 on the filler. Shy purple wave. RJ Barrett purple. Jokic. Cam Reddish. Cat green rookie. Zion. Alex Lynn. We got DeAndre Hunter here. Giannis, Morant, Hollow, Harden, Gold, Hunter, Purple, Trey Young, LeBron, Bagley, Silver for the Kings, I mean, it could be, I guess. Technically, it's not the jersey number, but kind of, sort of. Thanks for the fill, guys. Monster 4 Caser is in the bucket. Appreciate the fill, fellas. Thanks again, guys.